Hi guys! Today we will make an animation that everyone liked so much on social media. We are going to lift the furniture into the air. This animation is super simple, you can do it in 5 minutes. So now I'm going to show it real quick. First of all, we need to have separate objects that will be lifted randomly. If the carpet, table, lamp and chairs are separate objects, the sofa is a whole object, so we need to detach its parts. To do this, I switched to Edit Poly and began to select individual parts and detach each of them. The cushion blocks. If you have a simple group, then it's easier just to do an ungroup. This is how we make each part a separate object. After that, we go to the Animation Scale settings. At the bottom there is Time Configuration. Click it. And in the window, we only need to select the number of frames on the scale. It's 100 here, which is enough for us because we will only make 60 for 2 seconds. But if you need to make a longer animation, you need to increase it. And set the parameter to 30 frames per second. Click OK. Let's move on to the animation itself. First, turn on the animation by opening Auto key. We need to fix the initial position of the objects in space. So select all the objects that will move and then click the plus sign. Add a key. Next, move to the end of the animation to frame 60. And here we need to move them chaotically as we want. Move the carpets, leave the table in the air and spin it as we want. The same goes for each next object. The main thing is that the objects do not intersect somewhere. Freedom of creativity. We fixed it as we wanted, twisted it as we wanted. Every pillow and chair and a lamp. When we've moved everything, we turn off Auto key and let's see the result. We turn to frame 0 and press play. All good. Now that we have animated everything, we need to start rendering the animation. First of all, we go to the render settings and select the frame interval. In our case, it is from 0 to 60, because our animation is only 2 seconds. Next, we select the folder where we will save everything. We save the name and lowercase underscore, so that the frames are numbered one by one. This is very important. Save it, go to the performance and select the animation here as well. And in the end, choose how long the rendering time will be per frame. You can set it to 5 minutes, then all 60 frames will be rendered in 5 hours. Click render and wait. You can glue all the frames together in After Effects. Choose a new project, import a multi-file. In the window, we only need to select the first frame and click Next. We can add this multi-file to the composition. And in this way, it turns into a video. We export all this to the render. Choose the vocoder format, which is a separate plugin that converts directly to MP4, and you can download it on the vocoder website. Next, choose a storage location and a name. That's it! Click Render and the animation is ready. 